Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So for this week's scraps video, I thought I would, I was, I remember back on one of the early scraps videos where I did a card that looked like a quilt, the way that I kind of laid it out. And I've got lots of blankets in my house and I've got this one here and I just thought how nice would it be to recreate quilting patterns on the cards. So I'm not going to be doing this particular shape or design today. I'm just going to be using squares and triangles. But if you've got any lovely quilts at home or just Google quilting patterns and you'll see all the beautiful designs and then you can adapt the shapes and the sizes to fit any cards that you want. So I just wanted to show you that one there because it is stunning. I love all the trim on it and the, the stripey inside there detail. So what I'm going to do is I've used the scraps from this pad here, which I have loads of all at the back there. So that's my bright and beautiful backgrounds paper pad. And then very small scraps that I had left from this one. Although there's still loads of papers, I only used a few of the scraps and you'll see them in a minute. So I've got five patterns laid out. And then at the end, I'm going to emboss them all. I'm going to use these three embossing folders here because I think they're going to look really nice and hopefully give it that quilted effect. So first of all, for card number one, these are all going on to six by six card blanks. So I've got a pink card blank here, but I want to use this piece of six by six as my canvas that I'm going to build the pattern on. And then I can emboss this and then stick it all onto my card blank. So this one here, I don't know. I mean, I imagine these have all got names. So if you know all the names, any quilters out there that are watching this, then please comment. And at the end, I get you to, you know, let me know what your favourites are. So I'll go back through them all towards the end. But what I've done here is I've cut myself however many again it's it's going to vary for everyone because you're going to do it on different size cards but these squares are all one and a half across all of the cards i believe that i've done and i've just got to remember now how i done all of these so this one here i've got three different patterns so that's the edwardian lady pattern there this is from that bright's background and then another um background there from that edwardian lady I'm just going to start laying this down. That one actually has got a little bit of the print on the bottom. Just noticed it's got some of the text there. So we'll get rid of that one. Hopefully I've got another piece that I can use. So this one here creates like an arrow effect. Well, like a zigzag, should I say. So I'm just, just I'm doing the zigzag with the pink. And then all the other areas are being filled in with the green and this floral um, design there. So if I just get that first line, I need to cut these in half. So one and a half and then just cut on the diagonal there and you'll get your triangle pieces. And then that one. There we go. So there is the zigzag. So I just done that again along the bottom. And then, and then, like I said, just fill in the gaps. So I just want to make sure I get this all in the same one there. It's like you, you miss one and then go to the next one. That one there. And then those two. And then this design there. I'm going to have to have a look now and see if I've got some more. And then inside, I think I'll put that one there. That one there. So as long as you've got a six by six piece of cardstock, it will all fit onto here. So I'm just going to see if I've got some more scrap. Okay, luckily I had a little bit of scrap left. So that is the design there. So I'm going to use my quick grab, grab glue. Just get them all tacked in place because once I then use my embossing folder, it's really going to kind of compact them down onto the card anyway. So I'm going to start in the corner and get that lined right up and then just work my way out from there. So that's that one all stuck down. You would have seen I made a mistake around here and then I thought it's actually easier to just add my glue all over here and then stick it down. It was much quicker. You might also want to use double sided sticker sheets and pop that all down first on the piece of six by six card. Peel it off so you've got one big sticker and then just stick everything on. 
So like I said, at the end, I'm going to do all the embossing detail and the sentiments. So card number two, again, I've got a piece of six by six card. I've cut myself loads of one and a half inch squares, and then I've cut them all in half on the diagonal. Like I said, quantities, and that's going to vary for everyone, depending on the pattern you want to do. So for this one, I'm going to frame, put these in all the corners first, like so, and then I'm going to use the green then the butterfly. So I had a little bit of this scrap detail, um, design here. So that's going to be like this. It's like little points so there. And then the yellow is going to be in the middle to frame that section. Like so. And then these are going to be in the tops here, every other, so that one, and then that one, and then that one, that one, and again the block colour and then the pattern, there we go. <laughs> so again let me know what that design is if it has a name. So again I'm going to get that all stuck down. That's those all stuck down again really lovely design really enjoying putting these together and i can't wait to see what they're going to look like embossed okay card number three similar to card number one in terms of the colors I actually done these two towards the end but a different again design this is going to have more of a pinwheel look which it may well be called i don't know so again i'll lay it all down so these are like i said one and a half squares cut in half on the diagonal and then so the green is going to be the pinwheel so like so and like so and then the rest is pink I think yeah pink and then no that's wrong that's not your pinwheel pinwheel is that way there we go so then that one will go that way and then that one that way and that way and then you just build out each pattern like so and then like that yeah so that's that one you see they kind of go like that like that so if you get those in place then it's easier to lay down your next kind of design so the pink in each corner and then in the square next to each one like so and then all the rest is for this pattern here so you can see the pinwheel effect and then this is going to go in i actually think this was the one that i should have done with the first lot because the scraps i the bits i had left over from that one were the right amount for this one so i think i just done the wrong ones or just done them in a different order there we go so hopefully you can see that pinwheel so yeah i think they were the bits that were missing from the original from number one so again i'm just going to take these all off and start sticking them down Okay, so that's all stuck down. You can really see the pinwheel effect on that one. So for number four, I've already placed it all down so you don't have to watch me put it all back together again. I did take a photo of the last two. So you can see here I've used plain pink cards. So I've got a six by six card blank on the bottom again. And then I've got the pink in the corner, more of this because I had loads of this as scraps. Then this is the same design. This is the same design, the yellow, and then the light green as well. Again, I don't know what this one's called. I just saw different images on um, when I put in quilting patterns and this was one of them. And I just thought it was really nice. So again, I'm just gonna oh, move all of those off and get them all stuck down.
So there you go, that one's all stuck down. It's very similar to this one in terms of the middle square and the this has got the yellow frame, this has got the green. And just by changing these, the direction of these ones gives it a completely different look. But it's actually a very similar design. And then for card number five, I've gone a bit different with the layout. I've gone a bit smaller for this one. So I've cut myself this white piece of five by five. And then they're still all one and a half squares. But then with these halves, I've cut them in half again to give me this smaller triangle. So if I just take those off, you'll see how they were. So you can see it would have been like that. And then this one would have been like so. And if I just put that back together, you can see the original one and a half inch square. So just cut that, cut it in half on the diagonal and then in half again, and it gives you these tiny pieces. So I've laid down four whole one and a half squares here with this floral design. And then I've cut two one and a half squares using this green, cut them in half to then give me these. And then these are four smaller ones. And I think I'm actually gonna have a bit of a gap, a white kind of border in between this one. It's all gonna get embossed again still. But this is just a smaller design and then that will be popped up on the middle of that card blank there. So again, going to get that all stuck down. Okay, so that's all stuck down. So now I can do the embossing. So I think, hmm, let's see. I think I'm going to use the floral on this one because there's quite a lot of blank space and I think that's going to pick it up quite nicely. So I'm just going to lay that inside. I might have to trim this down. Yeah, I think I'm going to trim these down. So although I put them onto six by six, now they're all in place. I'm actually going to trim these down to five and three quarters squared. So that just tidies them up, but it also means that I can fit them neatly into my embossing folder and get the design all over it there. And there's the reveal. It's beautiful. I loved doing this when I first shared it in that um, scrap, other scraps video, which I will link if I forgot. But how wonderful does that look? Really, really pretty. So let's try, let's use this one and this one here. Again, I'm gonna trim them all down. Do that first. Okay, so you can see that one there, if I bring it up, it really does give it the look of fabric. I think it's really, really nice. I'm going to use the little polka dot here, or the dotty print. Let's do that on this one here. Again, just take that one out. There you go, you can see that design. Very cute, that one. I think I'm going to do the floral one again using this one. Let's sit that in the middle. I think this is my favourite. I think that's so pretty. And then the last one, let me just see, because there's another floral one I have. Yeah, there's this one here. So I'll do that with this one. Yeah, I think the floral ones, for me, give it a bit more of a quilted look. They make them, they feel like they're padded pieces of paper now. So those are all embossed. So now I'm going to get these all stuck down onto the card blanks and get my sentiments on them. And then I'll show you them at the end.
So I ended up going for these sentiment dies instead. So I've used the Creative Craft Products Everyday Sentiments. And I just thought they worked really well because they didn't take away from the design. So as always, let me know which one's your favourite. So this is number one with the hello there. Really, really sweet. The With Love. I think this floral design is my favourite. I actually love this patchwork effect as well. I think that's the kind of star looks beautiful. And then you've got your pinwheel there the thanks happy birthday and then number five the hello one there again with that floral detail very very pretty so one two three four or five let me know so that's this week's scraps video so it's like a patchwork or quilt effect using your scraps and embossing folders and if you don't have embossing folders they just they still look really nice with those different patterns anyway so hopefully you'll be able to take something from today's video and use it with your own stash as always i will have all of the product that i've used in the description box below the video i'll have some other scraps videos coming up now as well you might want to watch those next and i'll be back again very soon with more tutorials. Take care. Bye.